check this place out. It's built like a fortress. And it appears the gate requires the password. Not a problem. We can get that password by using a phishing scan. Joy! How I love the fishing! No, Mama. <laughs> this game ain't got nothing to do with no fishes. It's a trick scam artists use to obtain sensitive information by disguising themselves as a trustworthy entity. Which is why he's gonna get that password by impersonating the Joker. And wait till they get a load of me. <laughs> nice Nicholson, yo! Security, what do you want? My face on the one dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, let me try my Heath Ledger. Who is this? Who am I? I'm an agent of chaos. Oh, it's you, Joker. I'm so sorry I questioned you. Relax. Why so serious? Oh, I just don't want you to fire me. Oh, I'm not gonna fire you. I'm just gonna hurt you really, really bad. <laughs> Wait a second. This isn't the Joker. What do you think you're doing, bro? Duh, Jared Leto. <laughs> Jared Leto? You can't just put on some tattoos and some fake teeth and make me think that you're some kind of crazy person. The no one is buying it. Your impression is horrible, Robin. I'm sending down some men. Great. Now I've got to convince these fools I's the Joker by doing my best Mark Hamill. Listen, you numbskull. This is the Joker. And if you don't give me the password to this gate right now, I'm going to hunt you down and feed you to my hyenas. Understood, sir. The password is Jingle Bells Batman Smells 1939. It worked! See, Mama, easy peasy. Now let's keep moving so we can find that exclusive. Not so fast, Raven. That Teen Titans Go panel is starting in just a few minutes. Really? I've always wanted to be on a panel. Then follow me. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the stars of Teen Titans Go! Scott Menville, Kari Payton, Greg Sykes, Tara Strong, and Hinden Walsh. Okay, who has the first question for the cast? Wait, it's just the voice actors on the panel and not us? This has to be a mistake. Em, we have a question. You guys really nailed those costumes. You look just like the Teen Titans. We are the Teen Titans, and we want to know why you guys get to be on this panel instead of us. It's completely unfair, yo. You're right. This is unfair. We actors work in the safety of a recording studio at Warner Brothers, while you guys, the real heroes, are out there facing danger 24-7. Well, it's not exactly 24-7. We take a lot of naps. And play video games. And do the watching of the TV. In a typical week, we average about five minutes of actual crime fighting. Yeah, give or take. Regardless, you guys should totally join us up here. Don't mind if we do. <laughs> Who's this little cute puppet dove? This is my little bro. He's the wisest of the wise. The highest form of life on the planet. Isn't that right, little bro? <laughs> ah! Whoa! -ho -ho! My man's a genius! I have a question. How do the writers come up with all those scripts? Man, we don't use scripts. They just press record and we party in the booth. Like the waffle episode. That whole thing just sprang from us eating breakfast food. What do you enjoy the most about playing the me? I love your big heart. Oh, thank you. Let us do of the hugs. Hinden Hyper Hug! Hug! Ooh, can I have a hug too? Ooh, the no! Ah! I want to know what secret acting technique Tara uses to do my voice. It's simple. I don't get much sleep. Now smile for the camera. Ooh, I've got a question everyone is dying to know. Will Starfire and I finally fall in love this coming season? Sorry, we can't give out any spoilers. Don't play coy with me, Scotty boy. Answer the question! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, little guy. These lips are sealed. I have ways of making you talk. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, look at those abs. Guards! <laughs> Presenting the ruler of Atlantis, defender of seas and friend to fish, Arthur Curry, the Aquaman. And that's why no man is a man without a personal chef. <laughs> Presenting Raven, daughter of Trigon the Terrible. What? Half man, half machine, all handsome. Sir Cyborg. Booyah. The princess who will do the good socializing and is the fanciest of the schmanciest, Starfire. 
Andy Illist. Chillist, never gonna get your fillist. Non-stop party train this place about to go insane, Super Duke. Beast Boy. This place is amazing. Alfred will introduce you however you want, yo. What are you guys doing here? A Super Duke goes where he pleases. Speaking of which, <coughs> Alfred, I gots to tinkle. You know what to do. <sighs> Presenting the illest, chillest. I am going to be the butterfly that is the social. Just don't embarrass me, okay? Be cool. Have an hors d'oeuvre. Watch a pheasant race. Pheasant race? I've never seen a pheasant race before. I've never seen a pheasant. <laughs> I could get used to this place. Yeah, I'll be sure to let you visit. Or maybe I'll be sure to let you visit. What? I'm as gentlemanly as you, fool. Why can't I be the hair? You know, I look good as a bust. Fine, a gentleman off it is. The first essential gentleman skill is conversation. A true gentleman entrances a party through words alone. I'm gonna crush this conversation, yo. I's a great listener. Gentlemen don't listen. They're too busy speaking. Just because a pig has a pen doesn't mean he can write. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what was that? A mildly amusing pun. One of the tools in the conversational arsenal, like stories of being rich or philosophical nonsense. Philosophical nonsense? Is the sky blue or is everything else simply not blue? <laughs> <gasps> I think I get it. Washed hands are never cleaning. Feed me, feed me. What do marshmallow duckies eat anyway? How about we feed them some of them good strawberries? What? It makes marshmallow versions of whatever it eats? Mm. That's weird. But delicious. These are actually really good. Mm -mm -mm. They so sweet, yo. So much better than those nasty eggs. Feed me! Feed me! Aw, you still hungry, little buddy? Come on, let's see what else we can turn into marshmallowy goodness. Up. Well, we're officially out of food. Guess the party's over. Feed me! Hmm. I'll check the toaster. People are always leaving bread in there. Gah! The one time! <laughs> no, Ducky! Don't eat that! Mmm! <gasps> <gasps> it's good! This opens the whole new realm of the possibilities! Marshmallow counts! <laughs> Marshmallow TV! Marshmallow pretty pretty bag of sex! Marshmallow arm! <gasps> yeah. 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 Marshmallow blaster coming at ya! Marshmallow Ducky is so much better than Easter Bunny. And look! He is the full grown now! That's right! <laughs> <gasps> Big Buddy! No! <laughs> Tasty! Regurgitate the friends, Ducky! <laughs> oh, no, you didn't! Wait! We're no match for it! <laughs> you have to get the Easter Bunny! Ugh, really? But he's so creepy. He's the only one who will know what to do! <laughs> Ugh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, this bouncy castle is awesome, yo! My turn! Yeah! Woohoo! Wow, that was fun! What a great party. You think Superman will show up? Absolutely! He can't resist if he knows Doomsday is here. Question is, will he come to fight or to party? Look, a 
up in the sky. It is not the bird, nor the plane. It is the Superman. Go on, Doomsday. Say hello. Oh, thank you for coming to my party, Superman. Would you like some cake? Hey, not cool, dude. You were right, Doomsday. Superman is a super jerk. Eh, that's okay. I've got another idea. No, Superman! It's not an attack! It's for the pinata! Here, you can go first. You. Superman's finally seeing the real you. Yes, yes, you're seeing the real me. <laughs> oh no, something's wrong. What type of the cake is that? Ice cream cake. What flavor? Cookies and kryptonite. What? <laughs> oh no, does he not like it? That's one way of putting it. <laughs> Thanks for helping me destroy Superman. You Titans are the did we just help him do what I think he just did? I believe we are the accomplices. Uh, let's get out of here, yo! <laughs> Sorry, Superman. Turns out we were not prepped for Doomsday. Catch you later! Oh, man, these pet peeves are so annoying! Down! Down! Don't make me talk! What are we gonna do? Stop it! Give me that! Let go! How come the friend Beast Boy does not have the pet peeve? Because I knows how to master my pet peeves, Mama. Ain't nothing bothers me. Well, maybe if we ignore them, they'll go away. Ay, come on, not on the rug! <laughs> nah, you can't just ignore them. And you fools better watch out, because these pet peeves is about to get way worse, yo. <laughs> Did you just do the absorbing of my pet peeve? Robin, must you do the exercises now? I can't control it! Your pet peeve is making me do it! I find it the very annoying. You think I'm enjoying this? Yes. Okay, maybe a little. My buns are getting quite a workout. One and two and one and two and double time it now! One and two and one and two I think and I am going to be the sick. Just ignore it, Star. Raven is right, don't worry your head. Now I'm gonna make a snack, yeah, start with the bread. Add that turkey, ham and cheese. Enough with the singing, Cyborg. I'm not in the mood. I can't help myself. I'm being controlled by your pet peeve, your pet peeve. <laughs> so annoying! I all of the sudden have the urge to trim the nails. <laughs> Do you mind, Sapphire? I'm trying to eat. Girl, you need to be a little bit more discreet. My apologies, Cyborg, but your pet peeve is forcing me to perform the public grooming. <laughs> Guys, relax. None of these pet peeves are a big deal. Why is it bothering you? Yes, but it's fine. I'm not gonna let a stupid little peeve get to me. I am a master of self-control. Good, because I like to make sure I get every last drop. See, it's not a problem. Hi, I'm Cyborg. I'm Boy Beast. Uh, I mean, Beast Boy. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Don't say you're nervous on TV. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like y'all. I'm getting some good vibes from you two. So what y'all doing for us tonight? 
Our routine is called Doomsday for Superman. Please enjoy. <laughs> tribute to the Man of Steel, but is it enough to get them to the next round? Cyborg, Beast Boy. Yo, that was dope! You going to the next round, kid? Baseball uniforms? You sure you're in the right competition? I am sure that we shall do the knocking out of the park. Our routine is inspired by the classic 1992 film, A League of the Round. Okay, Star. Okay, Ray Ray. I see y'all. Take us out to the ball game. crying in baseball. That's right. <laughs> oh, and B Batman? Hi, it's me, Robin. I just wanted to say it would be such an honor to be on your chest. Okay, Robin, let's see what you got. Ready, guys? <laughs> I think somebody needs a miracle. Hey, does anybody have a miracle that can spare this man right here? <laughs> Gentlemen? Let's show them what we've got. Hippa to the hopper! It's a miracle!
Whoever's behind this evil act wanted to target the weakest member of our team. Hey! I'm not the weakest! We have been tricked into leaving the tower! That janky looking Robin is gonna get it! Ow! Titans, go! <laughs> All right, where is this imposter? Wait, you guys thought that was me? I don't know. Thought you were having a bad hair day or something. I don't have bad hair days. The janky Robin, reveal your true identity. <laughs> Toads? It may seem rather bizarre, but yes, yes, Toads we are. My name is Roke, leader of these Toads. You were trying to steal the tower from us. No, this is our tower. Our tower it be. We lived here first. We are the rightful owners, you see. Yes, yes, before it was the Titan's Tower, it was once the Toad Tower. For years, we lived a happy and peaceful life. Whoa, the T doesn't stand for Titans? It stands for Toads? Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You've been living here the whole time we have? Oh! Yes, yes, it is true. We've been trying to get rid of you this whole time, too. Remember the time the TV stopped working? That was us. Remember the time the couch fell apart? That was us. Remember the time the elevator broke down? That was us. All of it was caused by us. For eight years, we've tried to get you to leave the tower. Well, it's time for you to go. This might have been your tower once, but it's ours now. We have the deed to prove it. Hey! At this rate, we're never gonna get to Gotham City! Look on the bright side. Now we have an excuse to check out some of the local sites. There you rodeo clowns are! We've been looking all over for you! Rodeo clowns? Oh, look, friends! It is the ten gallon new cat! Howdy, the partner! Yep, yep, yee! Cool riders this way! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Doing really well. I'm just relieved we don't have to go in there. Go get them, clowns! Star? Oh, he is no beast. He is my friend, and I have named him Lactose-Free Cow Milk. Now go! Go and be free, Lactose, my gentle friend. As 
As much as I love that interpretation, Star, it couldn't be more wrong! For an accurate account, my book... No thanks. I've got a better book. One you can interpret however you want, because it's super crazy! Once upon a time, this dude named Alice found himself in a magical place called Wonderland. Just in time for... <laughs> a mad tea party! Woot, woot, woot! I'm the Mad Hatter, yo! I'm straight cray! Yeah, boy! <laughs> Please, join us. Or don't. It really doesn't matter. Well, y'all seem all right. I accept your invitation. Excuse the me. I am doing the sitting here. Oh, sorry, kitty. I am not the kitty. I am the full-grown Cheshire cat. Okay, I'll just sit over here then and check out the menu. Tacos, tofu, trout, turnips, tapioca. Why does everything on this menu start with the letter T? Because, yo, it's a mad tea party. You can only order foods that begin with the letter T. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not upset the chef. She has the issues with the management of anger. Here she comes. The Queen of Hearts. Greetings, unloyal subjects. May I take your order? I'll have the tuna tartare and for dessert, the tiramisu. I will have the tots of tater. I'll have the tempeh, please. What kind of sauce? Tahini. And for you? Yeah, I'll have a burger. <gasps> How rude. Sorry, I'll have a burger, please. Did anyone explain the rules to him? Sorry, your majesty. Alice, bruh. At least make it a turkey burger. I don't want a turkey burger. I want a bacon barbecue beef burger on a brioche bun. You know how I feel about rules being broken! Great, you've upset the queen. Off with the head! And they all lived happily ever after. Okay, that's it. We've listened to all of your factually incorrect retellings. Now, it's time for me to tell you about my book. Okay. Really? Yeah, sure, why not? Great! Ahem, chapter one. A boy wonders, how did he become so ruggedly handsome? Oh, oh man, Robin, I ain't into this, this one. Fiction. Hey, <laughs> where are you guys going? All of you, you're going to overwhelm the artists. It's cool, bro. They can just work some overtime. They're already working overtime. What was that? It's the very aggressive schedule. And thanks to your careless shenanigans, it's now out of control. We have to stop it before it destroys everything. Oh, yeah? What? <laughs> Your fighting is only creating more work, which is making the very aggressive schedule even more aggressive. Guys, I think he's right. Then how do we do the calming down of the schedule? We have to throw money at it. But we ain't got no money, fool. Then we're doomed. Ah! My tooth be on the wrong side, yo! Oh no! My anchor points are unregistered! <laughs> What's this? The animators have just informed me that we can defeat the schedule by battling it off screen. What is this off screen? That's off screen. But we've never been over there before. What if something terrible happens to us? That's a risk we're going to have to take. Now come on, Titans, attack! <laughs> 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 Antics are calming down the schedule, and the animators are regaining control. Oh. 
Nice work, Titans. We successfully saved the show from the clutches of a very aggressive schedule. Who knew a spreadsheet could be so terrifying? Or so dangerous. Yo, I definitely don't want to mess with that thing again. Then let's make a vow to take it easy on the animators from now on. Agreed. Agreed. to stop those aliens and dinosaurs before they obliterate the city. We're gonna need the help of every DC superhero out there. And their sidekicks! And their super vehicles with all their many moving parts! Oh yeah, this adventure is going to be epic! Titans, go!